Hey everyone, today's video comes from a suggestion from Uyghur Knight who asks, I want you to make a video about swapping objects. Let's say there is a tank alive, it takes hits and dies. How should we swap the dead tank model when it dies? That's a really good question, and that's actually something I've been meaning to get to in my game and that I did with the trees if you watched my last couple videos. Um, but I haven't gotten around to doing it with tanks, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it with uh, my tank objects, and that can be applied to any other object, so let's go. Here is just a little 3D model of a destroyed T-34 that I blended up. Over in Unity, we're going to create an empty game object and save it as a prefab, then we're going to attach a mesh filter and mesh render to it, add a box collider, and then add a material to it. Okay, and once all that's taken care of, we're going to attach our mesh to our game object by importing the mesh, by using import assets, and then once it's in the game, we're going to want to make sure that it's set to the right scale, and then we go to that empty game object that we created, um, get the mesh filter, and set that new mesh that we imported to the mesh that that mesh filter is going to be using. All right, the game object's set up, so now it's time to actually get the object switching out whenever the tank is being killed. All right, so if you already have some sort of script attached to your game object, you're going to want to open that up. In this case, the script that I'm going to be editing is called Tank Behavior because it's a script that all my different tank units use, and they already have onDestroy defined inside of them. onDestroy is just a function that's called whenever that game component is destroyed. All right, so we're going to want to create a reference to a game object, and it's going to be a public reference, and in this case, I'm going to call it dead tank. So this is going to be a reference to the prefab that we want to be created whenever this tank is destroyed. All right, so now the only other thing we need to do is go down to that onDestroy function and use instantiate to create a copy of that prefab in the world of the game at runtime. And we're going to add two more parameters that are transform.position and transform.rotation. So that way, the prefab that we create in the real world of the game is being created at the same position that the original object was destroyed at. All right, so the last thing we're going to want to do is open up our live tank in the Unity editor, go down to that tank behavior script, and set that dead tank reference equal to um, the prefab that we want to create. All right, so now if we run this thing, you'll see that whenever our tanks get destroyed, they get replaced with that dead destroyed tank object that we created earlier in the video. I hope you guys like this explanation. Um, this is a decent method because all of my tanks share that script, but yet I'm still able to define different destroyed prefabs for them all to use so that way it's not like each tank has the exact same destroyed object that it spawns when it dies. Um, there's a lot of different cool things you can do with this um, but anyways thanks for watching.